So the US MNT has released their 26 roster spots for the World Cup. And here's my reaction. So we're going to start off. There is some players that I think that should have made it over the guys that did make it. I'm glad that some of them did make it that have it in the past. But overall, I'm I'm positive about this group. I think that we can go pretty far. I was telling someone my expectations for this World Cup is for us to get to the round of 16. Do I want more? Yes, I want us to win it all. But I will be happy as a fan if we get to the round of 16 because we are young. We have injuries, but so does everybody else. Everyone else has injuries in the, the league. Um, it, well, not the league, the World Cup. And I, I'm just... Uh, I think that we can do it. I think that we can make it to the round of 16, but it will be a tough test. But let's jump into it. We'll start off with the goalkeepers. We have Ethan Horvath, Sean Johnson, and Matt Turner. Of course, Matt Turner to me is our number one. That's a pretty good. It's a pretty good pick for us. I think that's what we we need to have. Sean Johnson deserves it. He had a good. He had a good season for NYCFC. He's very consistent at what he does i mean i think he was second in clean sheets in the mls and we'll also talk about the mls here in a second you had zach Steffen get snubbed he he did not make the list and ethan horvath uh, has come in i feel like there's a lot of things going on with with Steffen that we don't know um, i know that he has been having injuries not getting playing time but i think there might even be a little bit more to that with uh maybe even with a the relationship with greg I, i'm not sure but that is the goalkeeper, so I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Hopefully, we don't have to use Ethan at all uh, in the World Cup. So, I would, I'm would i definitely fine with Matt. I think Matt is our... He has solidified himself as the number one keeper for the U.S. But it, if Sean Johnson had to come off, come out and play, I think I would be fine with that. So, moving on, we have the defenders. We have Kim and Carter Vickers, Serginho Dest. Aaron Long, Shaq Moore, Tim Ream, Anthony Robinson, Joe Scally, DeAndre Yedlin, and Walker Zimmerman. To me, Cameron Carter Vickers and Walker Zimmerman would be my starting center backs in the World Cup. Do I think that's what he's going to go with? No, I think he's going to put Aaron Long in there for some of it. And then, of course, you're, you want Anthony Robinson. He has solidified himself as that left back. And then Dest is going to be our right back. As for the backups there, um, I'm glad that Tim Ream made it. He has been playing so well at the club level. Uh, he definitely deserves it. Now, for some of the other guys, like Joe Scally, like, that's good for him. DeAndre Yedlin, I think he brought him just because of the speed that he has. We are going to be playing against a lot of fast people. I, I mean, especially that England team. If we need him to come off the bench to give, you know, Dest a, a break or whatever at the end of a match, like, we're not losing ground in the speed sense and being able to get back. So I think that that's a good pick. I, I'm a little shaky on Shaq Moore and um, Joe Scally. They're, they're younger guys. I don't think that they have really proven a lot uh, to me, but I, I it's hard because also like you have like John Brooks that could have came up and played, but he's not fast. I, I understand that. And then Reggie Cannon is also another one that – you could have brought in and left off one of the other guys. But overall, that I think that's as, as good as we can get. I think we really are missing Miles um, Robinson. I would have loved to see a Miles Robinson, Walker Zimmerman back line, like with Robinson and Dest like that. That's a good defensive line. But I think that the defense is the, the, the hardest one. But overall, to me, I think that those are pretty good picks. I mean, I don't see Shaq Moore and Joe Scally getting a lot of playing time. Uh, they're there just for the experience. And they have potential. I'm not saying that they don't, but they do have potential. So we'll move on to the midfielders. We have Brandon Aronson, Kellen Acosta, Tyler Adams, Luca De La Torre, which I thought was injured, Weston McKinney, Eunice Musa, Christian Rodon are our midfielders. Uh, I think that, like I said, I thought Luca was injured, so really we need to keep you know other people in mind to maybe bring in just in case if he can't go again i don't know why Roald Don is in the lineup i don't think that he'll get a lot of playing time uh to be honest i think that it's one of those things that he brought him in because he has experience with the team 
kind of quote unquote one of the older guys and just a, a good um, locker room presence. I, I would say that is the main reason why he is there. Kellen Acosta, I know that probably a lot of people are questioning him. I think that he is a good fit for the team. Again, having an older guy there with experience, but then also he's very good with set pieces and the US MNT struggles with set pieces. I mean, he did score in the MLS, fi MLS Cup Final off of a set piece. Again, it was deflected, but it was still, he still scored. Uh, but I think that he's just a good, you know, corner taker. I, I just think that he fits that role. And he brings also that, like, aggressiveness uh, on the field that we have with, like, Wes McKinney or Tyler Adams. They, they're aggressive, and I think that he fits in that role, too. So, like, if one of them come off and he comes on, it's not like we're missing out too much. As for someone else in the midfield, I, I really don't know who we could have brought in to, say, like, take Rodon's spot. And maybe that's why he just doesn't have someone in mind. So that that's the midfield. I, I'm not sure. I, I think overall it's pretty good. But we might have to bring someone in for Luca if he is still injured, like I said. So pretty good with the midfield. Now for the forwards, we have um, Ferreira, Jordan Morris, Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, Josh Sargent, Tim Weah, and Haji Wright. Jordan Morris should not be... <laughs> He should not be in this in this team. I don't. He did not do very well with the Sounders this year, in my opinion. Uh, I watched a lot of MLS this year. That was that's what this channel is mostly about is MLS. I just don't think that he should be on this squad. And to be honest, I, I might get some backlash on this, but I would have rather brought Paul Ariola into the squad than have Jordan Morris. Uh, Paul played a big big part in qualifying. And yes, I know a lot of people complain about him, but I think that he should have been part of the squad over Jordan Morris. And then you also have like Pepe that could have been there. Yes, Morris plays on the outside, but you could have brought you could have brought a lot of other people. Don't don't get me wrong, Jordan Morris has had his time. He is very very good. Uh, he was very very good. He came back from that that one injury, and he he has changed. I think that he could he could do better. I just don't think that he should have been in this lineup. That, that is the only person that I really believe that should absolutely not. And I want to stay positive with this group. I, I think that we are here to win uh, games. I, I'm 100% behind this roster. Uh, but like I said, Jordan Moore should not be in this. I feel bad for Paul um, Ariola. He, he should have been. He should have been in this in this lineup. And I do feel a little bit for uh, Ricardo Pepe. Because he did come in, and now all of a sudden, Haji Wright uh, makes it over him. But at the same time, I think Berhalter uh, said, you know, we need that physicality with the teams that we are coming up to up against in the group stages. And Pepe just can't hold himself with that, in my opinion. So I can understand why Berhalter went that route. Uh, but yes, th this is my reaction to the roster. Please tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are, and uh, we'll see you next time.